Hi guys, back again with another video. Now this video is going to be a real life review of the MI body composition scale. So this is basically a weighing scale which has a lot of features. So uh, if you are a gym goer or if you are into fitness and you know uh, something about BMI, you know something about uh, your protein content, your fat content, your own water content. So all these things are monitored. So this actually helps you in doing all that. Now how accurate is this going to be? That I'm, uh, I was not very sure of. I've had this for one year. I've been tracking my data, tracking data of other people. And uh, now I have an expert with me uh, who will be helping us understand the, uh, the data that we get from this. We'll also be looking into uh, how to actually set it up for a new person. So let's talk about that. So for that we have Angie with us. So that's Angie, uh, she is a fitness expert, so she will introduce herself, I'm very bad at introducing people, so <laughs> let her introduce herself. Hi, I'm Angeline and I'm a strength and conditioning specialist, a group exercise instructor, a personal trainer and currently I'm based in Pune. Okay, so she is going to help us with uh, uh, this uh, weighing scale, so she's never tried it as yet. Okay, so now we are going to try the weighing scale. Angie is going to stand on this. Now, uh, you see these four nodes. So you have to make sure that your leg actually touches both the nodes. That's when it actually works. So as soon as you stand on that, you'll see it's transmitting data to your phone. That's it. Now, that's all that you have to do. Now it's done. Now you can see that it does not recognize the person. So. Angie is new, so it will ask me to add a person. Now I'll add a new person. Now it will ask me for all this information nickname, gender, date of birth, height, and weight. So we can go ahead and click that. Okay, so there's a lot of personal information here, so I'll just move the camera. <laughs> <laughs> and you can get down off it now. Oh, that's it, it's done. That's done, it's done, all, everything is done. Yeah. Okay, so we're back again. So now uh, Angie is going through the data. You will be seeing the screen on top over there, uh, what she is seeing. So we'll be discussing about this. So there are a lot of things that you actually see in this. So, okay, so let's look at, so this is your profile. Okay. This is mine. This is yours, which we just added. Yours just shows one dot. Mine would have a lot of dots. So that's all the weights that I've actually calculated. Now you see the amount of uh, weight change. So I can actually monitor all my weight uh, change, all my uh, body changes over here. Now let's go to Angie's thing. So this is what, oh uh, wait, it's just the, uh, I want to see everything. So everything will be over here, body score. So that is your body score. Your body score is 86 according to this, which is actually good, higher the better. What is the, 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 the full marks? 100? I think 100. Okay. So it will be uh, 86 should be, yeah. So your weight shows 52 kgs. Wait, did it show 52 in that? Yeah. Okay, 52 kgs. So now that's your protein content. Now, uh, now you can go through the data, you can talk about that. So protein, do you think it is uh, according to what you calculate in the gym? Is this somewhere close to it or? Uh, so what I've seen in the other machine that I use, I use the um, InSync, which is the entire big thing with the rod and the handles and stuff. But uh, so I've never been told that I'm deficient in protein, which okay. I find a little hard to believe because protein is what I keep having all day. Yeah. But then it also could be a, a, a biological or a medical condition that I'm going through, which is leading to less absorption of protein, which. Might okay, so it, so basically, it's talking about what what your body is absorbed. So, okay, so so whatever you've eaten and stuff, that doesn't. Okay, that's something that we can talk about later on. Yeah. So, so at this happen. point, at the time that I've taken this, how much protein is is there absorbed and kept? Absorbed and kept in is yeah. according to this insufficient. I'm like I'm borderline. It's supposed to be 16 percent. I'm at a 15.5. Okay, so just five point okay. five percent. percent. Yeah. And also something to notice is this is in percentage. Yeah. Uh, so from what I understand, here protein is like uh, we've got body fat mass, body fat percentage which is a 32.3% right now. That is normal for you. Yeah. 
and uh, a muscle mass is which is 33, 33. point two kilos. So 32 is uh, the point where beyond 32 is good. So yeah. you are at 33. At so 33. muscle is fine. Um, no. I think this also explains why it says less of protein. So those two might be correlated, less of protein, which is why less okay. of muscle. Less of muscle. Because yeah, yeah I have been going through some conditions which is caused a uh, muscle mass to drop. Yeah. Okay. So uh, now the BMI. Yeah. So this is what people are looking for. So uh, this shows that you are actually very good on uh, BMI parameter over here. It says 22.8. The normal uh, should uh, anything. It's above 18.5. 18.5 to around 24.9. Yeah. So 18.5 to Okay. So, the, so you are in the right category yeah. right now. So water also it says normal, so you have 48.2% 48 water, so the yeah. normal should be anything beyond 45, yeah. so that's also good. Uh, what is this? This is what I don't understand. This is basal metabolism rate. Uh, basal metabolism or BMR is the amount of energy that your body uses, that is calories of energy that your body uses to just stay alive in terms of breathing, digestion, all those bodily functions that are happening. All okay. of it requires energy, right? So, okay. it's, so that. So when you're just, sleeping or when you're not just sleeping, maybe just sitting. Sitting, yeah. I am expending around okay. 1149 calories. Oh, that's what it means. That's okay, so now I know. That's okay. So when you uh, do something that has increased your metabolism, when they say, oh, my metabolism is very high, it means your basal metabolism, metabolism, basal metabolic rate is very high. Yeah. So things like going on a good diet or starting to exercise, these things increase your metabolism, which means at that point of time your basal metabolic rate increases. Okay, so that so very important data that you can get from this. Okay, so next one is viscular fat. Viscular fat. Okay, so what's viscular? I, I used to think it's something to do with the fat that's in your veins or something that has a heart blocking <laughs> stuff and all. But then uh, I was educated, uh, so it's not that. It's something else. Visceral fat is uh, the fat that lines your organs. So you've got a little bit of fat around, <coughs> your, around your stomach, around your liver, around all the organs just to protect it and you know save them from shock when you hit them. That's visceral fat. We, a little bit of visceral fat is okay. When it goes too much, that is what you need to check. So when you're looking at belly fat, so there are two types. There's visceral fat, there is subcutaneous fat. Subcutaneous is the fat that is just under your skin. Okay. So when you measure as in, you put those calculus yeah, and you pinch it, yeah. that's your sub subcutaneous fat. Okay. Belly fat that you see is a mix of visceral as well as subcutaneous. So the fat that is around the belly protecting it as well as the stuff that is under the skin. Okay, that's interesting. So my, uh, right now I'm at a stage where I'm not fat, I'm not thin, I'm somewhere in between. So I still have a lot of this which I have to remove. So that's why it keeps telling me that it's high for me. I mean, not too high, but it's beyond the average one. So basically, it's looking at. Okay, we'll talk about that later. What's next? Okay. Bone mass. mass. So this is something that uh, for people who are going to the gym and for people who uh, maybe elderly people, uh, as uh, as you grow older, your bone mass decreases your uh, calcium content, uh, the, 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 the doctors tell you to have more calcium tablets and all these things. Uh, so I think with this you'll know your bone mass, I don't know what, uh, is this going to be good for elderly people also? Yes. Like, uh, okay, so with this you can find out your bone mass, if your bone mass is less than normal then you should start calcium supplement, yeah. not by yourself meet a doctor the first and then do that. So that's an indication. So this is going to be a, so that's the last thing I think. You've got body age. Okay, so after that it shows you your body age, it says 30, uh, whatever, we are not going to talk about the age. Uh, ideal weight, so your ideal weight according to this is 48. You are at, no wait, ideal weight is somewhere between 42 to 57. So you are at 48, so 48.60, so basically 49. Uh, so that's good enough. Now they show you a chart of uh, body type, so that you can go with that, <coughs> nothing to do with that. So you are in the balanced category. Yeah. So balance is right in the middle. So that's the category that you are in. So you're not into the muscular, you're not into the thin, you are right there, the balanced one. So she can actually decide whether she wants to go in bulk or lean or whatever. She's in the right stage right now. So yeah, that's, it. that's it. There's something else at the bottom, I guess. 
done. Okay, so that's basically what you get from this. Now let's just discuss uh, some. I mean, uh, I'll tell you about some pointers about this thing because it took me a long time to understand this one. Uh, because uh, data accuracy was a big problem for me. Uh, every time I weighed in uh, for the same day, my weight changed. So, uh, like if I'm 80 kilos uh, in the morning, uh, by the evening uh, I've changed my weight to around uh, 81, 82 kgs. Uh, after my gym, my weight has changed. So, I've seen a lot of differences in that. So, later on I realized how uh, minute calculation this does. So, basically there are these four nodes. So, this sends an electric impulse into you. It checks the resistance and then uh, uh, the data is being calculated according to the age and height and everything that you have put in. So, according to that, it's an algorithm basically. So, it, uh, it doesn't have any tiny robots which goes into you and checks everything. It's, it's just an algorithm. So, algorithms are not going to be exactly correct every time. It doesn't know whether you've eaten right now. Uh, whether your stomach is full or anything. Ideal time to actually uh, see your weight is early morning after you've um, gone to the loo and stuff and then you come out and then uh, check the weight. So that's going to be your ideal weight. So once I started doing that, then my data was close to accurate. Uh, I'll never say accurate because these things are never going to be exactly accurate. It's going to be close to accurate. So that's when I actually realized how good it was and how it helped me. Uh, my parents started using it, uh, but for 2000 rupees you actually get a lot. Now you have, uh, your entire family can weigh into this, uh, all the data will be calculated. It knows who is who, unless the weight actually changes drastically, uh, it will not know who the person is and then you will have to choose. Uh, it will give you that list, like how we saw in the starting of the video. It will show you how many people are there, you have to choose the person uh, who the weight is for and then uh, it goes there. Now normally this happens because uh, me, uh, the first time I stood on this uh, today, it uh, gave me a new person thing because I had all the phones and all the gadgets and the bag with me and it, uh, I moved, yeah, 4 kilos extra. So I moved uh, all that, put it back and then I stood again, it recognized me. Now my weight was close to what I was before, so it knows that. So there are times and it, uh, and uh, it can even uh, weigh, weigh uh, babies, so you can actually stand first, there's a mode in this, a baby mode. So you can uh, choose the baby mode and you stand first, so it will calculate your weight. After that, you uh, carry a baby and stand on this and then it calculates the baby's weight and gives you separately. You don't have to do the plus and minus and all these things. So, That's it, it'll just give the baby's it, It'll give you the baby's weight. Nothing about the No, body. it won't give the body, uh, the, the, no, no. So all that is not done. Uh, so that will not be given, but baby's weight also can be done. So there are so many features in this. Uh, the good thing about this is it's portable. Uh, now for one year I've been using it, I've never changed the battery. So that's something which was surprising to me. There are four uh, cells in this and uh, it goes on and on and on and on. So very, very nice. Battery likewise it's very nice. Uh, convenience wise it's very nice. Uh, I have got this wet completely and nothing happens to it. So it's not waterproof. You don't throw it in a swimming pool like the best I generally do. I will not be doing that. This will die. Uh, but uh, in case uh, water spills on it, just wipe it off. Nothing will happen. So that way, that, uh, that's also good. So okay, so that's what was my thought, my experience. So I told you about that. So since she used it for the first time, let's uh, let's ask her, let's get her conclusion. What did she think about this? Whether it's worth two thousand rupees or not? So let's talk. Ask Angie about this. I think this is this is good. It's for two thousand. It's I think it's it's a good buy. Uh, I would just recommend not to really put so much weight on the whole thing, not physically, emotional weight on the whole thing. <laughs> uh, don't go haywire by checking your weight and checking your body mass every single day because things change. As women, we put on and lose weight like almost every day based on the hormones that are going on, based on the, like today I checked my weight immediately after this big heavy lunch. So I'm not, I'm okay with this. Yeah. So don't go berserk and do this every day. Do it like once a week and on an average just make sure that over the weeks you're not really increasing weight or you're more or less, more or less steady in the whole thing or if your uh, goal is to lose weight you're steadily going down through the week on an average just like once or twice is good to check. Don't go on it every day you're just going to lose your weight believe me. <laughs> okay, but uh, so basically, this is going to be a device which will help you monitor your weight, whether it's going up, whether it's going down. You will know. So this is just to inform you where you are. It's your decision what you're going to do with it. 
So that's it for this video. So that's it for this video. If you like the video, oh, before that. So uh, if you have any doubts, uh, any questions regarding uh, uh, the weight scale or regarding BMI or anything, anything regarding health and fitness and everything, uh, you can comment on the video. Uh, I'll be doing other videos uh, with Angie where she'll be testing fitness bands and ear earphones or something, which I generally do. But then uh, a lot of women have been asking me regarding uh, how is it going to be for them. Now I have big ears. Uh, like what I say is not going to be right for you. So I have other people. So Angie is going to be one of them. There are other people who are uh, going to be in the video. So they'll be testing these products and I will be giving you uh, real life uh, review on them. So that's it for this video. If you like the video, please subscribe, hit the like button and do comment. And I'll see you again with another video. Bye-bye.